everyone, this is Veronica from So It Seems and welcome back to my studio. I wanted to take a little bit of time this afternoon to just check in with you and share a little bit about what's going on in the studio. As you know, uh, I've been making these videos for the different Dear Jane blocks. I'm really having a lot of fun making those. But my technology is such that it's hard for me to do anything else. I do most of my recording on my phone and for whatever reason the audio and visual don't line up. So today I'm trying something a little bit different on a tablet to see if that will record properly and possibly I can load that up. <laughs> but we'll see how that works. And that's just technical stuff. You don't need to know all of that. But I'm sharing anyway. Um, we are in the middle of a very busy season in our family. Mostly it <laughs> involves me and my oldest daughter. She is in a play and I, as a seamstress, am helping with making costumes. Um, most of the other people are really good at doing construction parts of it, but I have the sewing knowledge and equipment. The play that she's in is Beauty and the Beast, and they're doing the Broadway musical version. So there is a ton of stuff going on with that. She's in a lot of rehearsals, and I've got a lot of costume parts to make. Thankfully, most of them are found costumes, and we're just adjusting and um, trying to... Uh, it, trying to ma manipulate what we have into what we would like to have it look like. But that still takes quite a bit of <laughs> time and resources from me. I'm also trying to finish a crocheted project for my youngest daughter whose birthday is May 1st. We probably won't be able to celebrate on that day as that's going to be right in the middle of uh, dress rehearsals and tech week for the play. So she'll be probably be pushed back just a little bit. But because <laughs> of the project that I'm working on, it is involved. It is a crocheted afghan, which they call... Um, the term is grafgan, which means that it is a an image that's on a grid similar to what you would see for something like cross stitch and then it's crocheted. I've done color work with knitting before but with crochet it's a little different especially since I want the front and back to look pretty much the same. So it's not going to have a lot of threads along the back that are weaved in and things like that. Um, this project is, it's a lot bigger than what I expected it to be. Originally I wanted to finish it last year for her birthday, but it, it quickly became out of hand. So, um, I should be able to get that done in time, but I'm having to create uh, a minimum of five rows a day and each row depending on how much yarn changing I have to do it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour so it it's taking a lot of time to do that but it's gonna be pretty impressive when it's done and I'll have to show you when it's done let me think what else is going on oh and I'm finishing a bookcase quilt for a customer. This one is kind of a bizarre one, not in the quilt itself, but it it was something that the customer ordered um, in July of 22 and then went silent. I didn't hear anything from the customer, um, sent several emails and then finally a physical letter and then the customer was able to contact me Apparently her account got hacked, um, her credit card was stolen, it was just a big mess and then a lot of health issues. So we have finally been able to connect and she gave me her information for what she wanted on the quilt. So I'm in the middle of trying to finish that up. So effectively I've got three big projects that I'm working on. The costumes, the crocheted afghan and the quilt all kind of needing to be done about the same time and in the midst of that doing the dear jane quilt blocks 
Now the quilt blocks don't really take a lot of time, but they still take time and um, trying to get those videos up. So I'm still trying to get those out every Monday. So far I've been able to stay pretty much on track. I know last week I missed and I'm hoping I don't have to miss, but right now it is Sunday afternoon and I have yet to start one. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, in the middle of this, I keep thinking of new projects that I want to work on. <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time. So I am doing my best to sit on my hands and not start anything new because I just don't have the time for that. But if I if I but if I finish quickly on some things, then I'll be able to pick up some other things. So how are things going in your guys' worlds? Are they just as busy as mine? It's just one of those things where we go through different seasons of life. And since I still have three children at home, uh, that ends up taking quite a bit of my time. But it's it's a joy. I enjoy having... I wouldn't have it any other way. But it just means that there are times where some things kind of get pushed off to the side and... I foresee a few late nights <laughs> coming up in this next week as I try to really get a lot of things uh, just kind of nailed out there. All right, that's all that I have for my updates here. It's a lot going on, but um, it's all good. And I will do my best not to get overwhelmed or get too silent. And hopefully I'll be able to um, get some other things going besides uh, just the Dear Jane quilt. I have a couple other ideas, but until I can really get going on those, I won't say anything. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is Veronica Johnson with So It Seems, and remember, keep stitching.